Styrofoam. What are you gonna do with it? It's ugly, all over the place. It's a disaster. It kills. You can't get rid of it. What are you gonna do? Well, you can turn it into something useful, like bricks. I mean, bricks are useful, and they never go anywhere, so they might as well use them. How do you do it? Well, you make yourself a simple grinder. This one's made out of chunks of old plywood. That's an old vacuum cleaner tube that was studded with uh, drywall uh, nails. Here, you know, we got an electric motor. We used to have a bicycle, but the kids complain. The motor doesn't complain. The really nice thing about styrofoam is that if you can avoid getting your fingers into the grinder, that uh, even a little bit of styrofoam makes a lot of fuzz. That's what we call this stuff that comes out the bottom, the fuzz. Turn off the grinder so you don't lose your fingers, but here's the fuzz. And the fuzz adds up to a lot of things. So if you take fuzz, you can make it into bricks at the rate of about 20 plus bricks per bag. The usual mixture is five to one. So we use five buckets of fuzz to one bucket of cement. You really should be Superman to be able to do this neatly, but you, your mess isn't a real big problem. So one bucket of cement, five buckets of fuzz, mix them up together, and then you want to add water. Um, I'd use the same bucket, but you probably don't want to use a whole bucket of water. Um, mix it in slowly because it usually doesn't take an entire bucket of water to mix in. Um, what you want to accomplish eventually is a mix that's kind of like I don't know, kind of squishy mud. You're going to find this stuff has got a really strange consistency. Here's your basic mold. Two befores nailed together with a little hold at the end there. Very, very simple objects. Put them down on a smooth surface. Here there's a bit of fuzz on the bottom so that they won't stick. But just put them down on something really smooth and then start sticking the mix in. You can use a trowel, you can also just stick it in with your hands. Don't need to be fancy about it, just slather it in. The only thing you really want to make sure of is that all your bricks are the same size, because if they're not the same size, your wall is really going to suffer. That's what these little pieces are for here. They make your tops as smooth as your bottoms, so push them in. Here's where you really feel how strange that consistency is. This super high technology piece of equipment allows you to kind of compress in. Now you don't need to set them for too long, maybe an hour. They'll dry up enough. I think this is a four-hand job instead of a two-hand job. Two hands to push, two hands to pull. But even with a little scribble-scrabble, your bricks are going to come out just fine. Okay? So here are a pair of bricks. Nice, ready to go. go. Once they're dry, they will actually float. They are super insulators. They will keep all the sound out and they will keep all the heat in or out depending on how you want to do it. Um, very cheap, very good insulation, really easy to make, great products for small cooperatives to make to use in one way or another.